From Sunseeker to Oyster and Fairline to Pearl, there's a great variety of production yacht builders in the United Kingdom. This video, though, takes a look at the significant contribution that British industry has made, not into building the yachts, but into building the tenders that serve them. Of course, you don't have to have a super yacht in order to buy one of the boats that we're going to be looking at. And to tell you the truth, the fun that you can have in one of these boats surpasses and exceeds the fun that they're probably having in the large yachts that you whiz by in your jet-powered rib. So let's take a look at where the fun begins. Williams are one such company that can certainly supply one of their jet-powered tenders to a non-yacht owner, but it has to be said that their products are conceived with the yacht owner firmly in mind as their website clearly shows. Their product range varies from the mini jets that will fit nicely onto yachts from 11 meters upwards, the turbo jet for yachts upwards of 12 meters in length, the extremely popular sport jet for 20 meter plus vessels, and the diesel jet, which is a real super yacht tender suitable for yachts of 25 meters and over. For me, Williams is a great example of a company that looked at what the yachting industry needed and then went about building it to a very high quality. In the early 2000s, more and more yachts of all different sizes were fitting tenders inside transom garages. This did not present too much of a problem with the length of the tender, but the height was always an issue. So Williams created an attractive but functional range that all had very low profiles in relation to their length, but at the same time could fit a good amount of guests on board and take them to shore without them getting wet from spray. Something I can attest to having traveled on many of their products, simply because there are so many of them out there. If you are a yacht captain and watching this video, you may also find this feature on their website to be useful. It's called Build My Tender and allows you to choose the color of the tubes of your tender, the upholstery, there are engine options, and you can add a whole host of other accessories before submitting your request to the company, along with information of the yacht that you are running. I must say I do have a special connection with Williams. I used to work for a yacht builder and we were one of those builders trying to put tenders inside transom garages of our yachts. It was always an issue trying to get the biggest tender possible to fit. Around those years, Williams seemed to burst onto the yachting scene with a great selection of tenders that all fit nicely inside our yachts. And in no time at all, they seemed to become the tender maker of choice for many of our clients. I actually called Williams to ask for permission to use the video that you saw earlier and I had a great chat with them. We're looking at quite likely doing a sponsored vlog at their facilities in the United Kingdom early next year, so I'll be able to feed back more information to you about this interesting company. The next tender manufacturer is another company that brings back some very happy memories. As the name suggests, Wahoo Ribs are all about having fun on the water and enjoying the performance of their craft. I said that this manufacturer brings happy memories to mind because I sea trialed one of these at the Monaco Yacht Show some years ago. It was driven by a race boat driver and we just finished sea trialing another performance boat that was built by a company who had no experience in designing hulls and thought they could do it themselves. The difference was incredible. Whilst the previous boat had hit every wave like a small car crash, the Wahoo really did slice through the water like a knife through butter. It turned beautifully and I stepped off the boat with a huge smile on my face, having learned something about the merits of a good hull design. The Wahoo collection consists of the LXO, which is available from 8 to 12 meters and comes equipped with supercharged mercury outboards. The LXI, which can be built from 9 to 12 meters and has inboards and is maybe more suited for use as a super yacht tender. And the Solas SX. Now, Solas stands for Safety of Lives at Sea. 
So this particular rib had to pass rigorous tests by Lloyd's in order to attain that certification. This particular model has diesel water jet propulsion. With that seemingly concise range though, a remarkable capacity for customization is possible. Since an owner can choose from longer or shorter models, wider or more streamlined, diesel or petrol, inboard, outboard or jet, and that's before you even get started on the extra accessories and color scheme. Maybe it was this great selection, wonderful performance and frankly very attractive design that made the owner of the breathtakingly beautiful and impressively imposing 110 meter Lobanov designed yacht Jubilee choose to buy four Wahoo tenders for his yachts. And talking of beautiful design, Pasco International, located on the south coast of England, can certainly hold their heads high too. This company was in fact born from a design requirement. When the owner of the glorious Ken Prevok designed sailing yacht Maltese Falcon asked the designer for some custom tenders, the first two Pasco tenders were born, and the rest, as they say, is history. Today, Pasco have a broad product offering that still include the high performance tenders that are similar in styling to those found on Maltese Falcon. In addition, they have a range of limousine tenders that go from eight meters in length to 12 meters. These are particularly popular with large super yachts that need to get a group of guests to shore in all kinds of conditions, sometimes even in the rain and with guests dressed in their finest dinner suits and cocktail dresses. Their SL model did in fact win a Super Yacht Design Award. I particularly like Pasco's Beachlander range though. These must be particularly useful for charter yachts that cruise in areas where you can actually drive right up onto the beach and allow the guests to step off the boat directly onto the sand, where presumably the crew will cook them a beach barbecue or set up a beach volleyball court. The vessels that Pasco build as dedicated super yacht tenders are called the DT range, although I don't believe that DT stands for dedicated tender, but rather it refers to a D section inflatable collar that Pasco says reduces water intrusion into the boat. I must admit I'm not totally sure from Pasco's website that I understand exactly what that is, so if you have any ideas, please do tell me in the comments section below. And if anybody from Pasco watches my videos, I would welcome your explanation and will feature the answer in a future video. The whole issue of water entering the boat does seem to drive the design of this particular model though, as Pasco explain that they've kept the sides of the rib high so that passengers really are sitting inside, protected by the high freeboard. At the same time, they've kept the overall profile quite low so that this model can fit inside the garage of a super yacht. Honestly, I'd never thought about featuring tenders in my Yachts for Sale YouTube channel until I started researching this vlog. And yet the most fun I have ever had on the water has been either in a rib or in somebody's tender. Super yachts are great for relaxing on, for sleeping on, for eating on. They make a wonderful setting for socializing. But if you talk to most yacht owners, as soon as they're awake and on the deck, the first thing they ask for is the tenders and the toys to be put in the water. It really is all about the tender. I shall be in the United Kingdom early next year visiting Fairline Yachts and Williams Tenders, possibly Wahoo too. And who knows, if Pasco get back to me, maybe I can feature them as well. But in any eventuality, there's lots of interesting content that I'll be reporting back to you on. Actually, Next week's video will be the first video of 2019 and it's all going to be about great yachts to look forward to in that year. There are some huge yachts being delivered in the new year. But also I'll be reporting to you on exciting projects that I'm pursuing for my YouTube channel. 2019 will see me doubling or maybe even tripling the amount of content that I produce. So if you're at a loss of what to do for your New Year's resolution, I'm going to make it easy for you. 
subscribe to my channel.